When Max takes a look at me, he will think rock. <laughs> I believe he will think there are rocks in your head. I think we need to be working on this wall, not worrying about the auditions. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm pretty confident in the in my ability to shine. That's right. I'm not worried at all about staring and the fortune in the eye. You guys are so Thank you so much. You are so cool. 
Thanks, but remember, all the credit goes vertical. And my name is Candy. <laughs> nice to meet you, Candy. Candy. What a sweet name. <laughs> I heard about the great work you're doing here today. You know, God's given us all musical talents, and I think that's exactly what you're doing here today. And Mr. Rockinelli, sir? No, call me Max. Okay, Max. I think it's awesome that you're shooting a new video here. You know, we're a choir, and some of us have some real musical gifts that I'm sure you'll want to know about. You bet. I love finding, I love finding talented singers, guitar players, drummers. But which do you dig the most? Here's the thing, Sam. God says we all have musical talents, and he also says, you no, know, the Bible says we all have musical talents, and it also says, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Ah, 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 two! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Not sure you can do that to the glory of God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Worthington Villahan, and I'm here to audition for the music video part of The Rock. Yeah, we are definitely gonna rock. Okay, but I want to be The Rock. Ooh, sorry Worthington, there is no rock in the video. Before you make your final decision, please just think about it. so he probably loves guitar. If this is my if this is my one shot, maybe I better play guitar. What was I thinking? Max is one of the greatest guitar players around. He doesn't need me, I know. I'll be the drummer. Really, how hard could that can that be? My drumming probably has as much chance of making video as Whitney Tim's drum. I know, I'll be the singer. Anybody can sing. Worthington, my man, I'll keep that in mind. But one thing I do know for sure, I'm going to need some musical help in this video. Any of you care to audition? Yeah. Yes.
Hey, Jack, you don't play guitar. Charlie, oh dear. Oh, where are my manners? You must be Mr. Max Rockinelli. I'm Miss Stone, and I'm the choir director at First Church. And these are some of my most talented musicians. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. Sam doesn't really play the drums. Um, what do you mean? No, no, no. no. Guitar. So that must be Charlie, not a singer, huh? Drums. So that must mean jazz. Never touched a guitar in my life. I'm a singer. <laughs> so, why do you guys swap for the audition? What do you mean? You'd be looking for something other than what you do. Ah, I see. A big case of, I'm not so comfortable being me. I was there. In fact, it was about five years ago. I started to get comfortable in my own skin. What do you mean? What you see is what you get. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. But I know God loves me just the way I am. He wants me to be me and you to be you. And Hey, Worthington, how about passing that guitar case over there? I think I smell a song coming on. Ah, 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 two! <laughs> oh, I, I sneeze. I mean, oh, I see. You keep your Bible in your, there. Yep, I keep it in there to remind me why I play and who gave me the ability to play. Let me read you something from Psalm 139. Please. For you created my inmost things. You knit me together in my mother's womb. God carefully created, carefully created each one of us with abilities and talents that, that make us special. He doesn't want us pretending to be something or not. He wants me to be me and you to be you. Great day, everybody. Great day. He'll be you. I'll be me. He'll be you. I'll be me. You be you and I'll be me. We'll both Each of us has a gift. 
you know, me be me. I was clearly made to be the rock. Pointington, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but God didn't create you to be a rock. He gave you some wonderful talents. For example, you are one of the most expressive people in our choir. I love the way you always share with all of us what's inside you. And that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> we're back already, Miss Stone. You were right. With several of us working together, we had Ruby's flowers planted in no time, and they look great. That's right. My mom couldn't believe that a bunch of kids we don't even know would want to help us. Thanks, guys. Miss Stone, it's quite an operation you have here. It looks to me like you have a great gift for leadership. Oh, it isn't me. It's these great kids. You know, it's way cool when we each do what God has gifted us to do. Like Paul describes in 1 Corinthians, we're each part of the body of Christ. Each of us is gifted with this specific role. That's right. If our body were all ears, how could we see? And if our body were all eyes, how could we smell? And if your body were all noses, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, too! Uh. Now, Worthington, we got that loud and clear. <laughs> so what if I sang, Charlie played the drums, and Sam played the guitar together? I don't play any instruments, but with a little help from my friends, we can really do a number on this part. Well, I hear I it's a beautiful thing. Well, I used to, but then I didn't like how it made me feel. 
I was starting to learn that all the pain I was in the world could not make me happy. And here in the first year for a lovely night in my Bible, because right here, I think the book was right on the spot. Sure, Max, let's see. Mm -hmm. on the stage in front of a big crowd or helping a friend carry a rock or two. Even every day stuff like making new friends or showing off the glory of God.
I'm ready to shine for all the world to see. We're supposed to shine, to, but to point others to God, not to give attention to ourselves. Like Tigger over there. She's using, she's using her talents to help other people and, and be a friend. She's not doing it to a point to attention to herself, but to bring glory to God. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ruby. Nice to meet you too, Max. I find this park almost every day. There's never been There's never been a day like this before. Quite like this before. It's a whole new park. Ruby, did you know I came here five years ago and sat on that thing right over there? <laughs> really? Yes, I was in the middle of the playground, but I wasn't having fun. In fact, I was pretty bummed. Oh, but weren't you already famous five years ago? I might have been famous, but I was also hopeless. I was... The bigger the crowds got, the lonelier I felt. I was starting to learn that all the fame and applause in the world would not make me happy. Oh, the paparazzi were always nice with you, right? Not that, Charlie. Remember we were created to glor to know God and also to glorify Him. I didn't know then that my sin was keeping me away from God. A radio mentor took me to this park, and when I told him about how troubled I was, he told me about how Jesus changed his life. And that the only way to know God was by accepting Jesus into your heart, sitting right there on that bench. Wow, I bet that's why I wanted to help out at this park today, right, Max? Yes, that's right. Uh, everything changed in my life that day.
juggling and carry rocks. I don't think I get to make any friends. Thanks, Taylor. Just like Max said, I've been feeling really lonely too. My mom grew up in my lived here a year ago, and I haven't really made any friends. Sometimes I feel as if God has forgotten me. Ruby, Jesus really does love you. And the Bible says that whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will be safe from their sins and can live with him forever. Well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about the Bible. We're just learning too. You can start coming to choir with me. We have a great time. Okay, let's step right over here. Hurry, people, we're losing light. The rocks, and right in the middle of the screen, there's a big rock. Yes! <laughs> Never mind, bad idea. No! <laughs> well, you know, Max, I'm no video director, but where the thing does remind me of something very important you just said. Really? Yes. Remember when he rode into Jerusalem and the people were praising him and he was told to silence them? He said, if they keep quiet, the rocks will sneeze. No, he said, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. You know, you're totally right, Miss Jump. Sorry, Worthington. You can't have rocks doing the, the thing we, we keep doing, the job we were made for. Now, we got some praise engineers.
and Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Okay, we have all the cameras in place. The park looks perfect. Let's shoot this thing. So you said you were scooping out some new talent feature, right? Did you find anybody? I think that sneezing kid's got some talent. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm guessing you came here looking for a big bridge. Well, uh, these the thoughts may have crossed us, our minds. Max, I think we were a little starstruck before we met you and heard about your life before you knew Jesus. And before we realized that's not it, that, that's it. Not about me, but about working together to give God glory. And, and helping other people and going them to Jesus. Just like Taylor has been doing all day, while well, we've been trying to get the spotlight on us. Max, I think Taylor is the real rock star. She should be in your video. Well, I'm glad to hear that from you guys, but I have a question for Ms. Stokes. How many kids do you think we need to have a choir that really rocks? How many? Oh, that's easy. All of them. That's right, the hands, the feet, the ears, the whole body working together, giving it all up for Jesus. Are you, you guys ready? Yeah! yeah! Then let's rock! 